Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the concept of pseudocode. Always, there is a confusion or misunderstanding between pseudocode and algorithm. What is the difference between pseudocode and algorithm? The concept of algorithm already we have discussed. Now, we will discuss the concept of pseudocode and how it is different from algorithm. So, algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure or sequence of instructions to solve any problem. Pseudocode is nothing but, it is a method of implementing this step-by-step -step procedure. And this pseudocode is a non-syntax informal language to develop an algorithm. So, pseudocode is nothing but, it is a concept to develop an algorithm. And this pseudocode procedure will consist of natural language or English language with the mathematical logic specified clearly. It is a simplified form of algorithm step with logic understanding. So here in pseudocode, if you are considering the logic part, it will be specified very clearly. So pseudocode is nothing but it is a high level description of writing an algorithm. It is a procedure to write an algorithm or to implement the algorithm. For example, consider Eclipse algorithm to find the GCD of two numbers. So in Eclipse algorithm, this is the sequence of instructions to find the GCD. So we have to find GCD of two numbers. So first number we have to consider it as M and the second number we have to consider it as N. So in Eclipse algorithm, the first step is if n value is 0, that is the second value is 0 means return m value as the result and stop the program. Otherwise, suppose if n value is not 0 means we have to proceed to the next step. In step 2, divide m value by n. So, we have to find m by n that is 18 by 32 and assign the value of reminder to all. So what is the reminder we will get it? That will be the value assigned to R. Next is step 3. Assign the value of N to M. So what is the value of N? So this is the N value. Now this will be considered as M. And value of R to N. What is the value of R? That will be N now. And then go to step 1. So next it will go to step 1. The same procedure will continue until it finds the GCD of two number. So this is nothing but the Eclipse algorithm. So if you are considering this algorithm, this is a complete explanation to solve the GCD of two number. There is no specific mathematical logic. So the same algorithm, how we will implement it as a pseudocode that we will check now. So now if you are considering this is the pseudocode for the Eclipse algorithm to find the GCD of two numbers. In pseudocode, the first step always it will include the problem. That is, what is the problem it solves? So here it computes GCD of M comma N using Eclipse algorithm. And the second step specifies the input. What is the requirement or conditions to specify input? So here the condition is two non-negative. That is M and N value should be non-negative. Negative values it won't accept and both should be non-zero. That is at a time both the numbers should not be zero. Any one value can be zero. But both M and N value should not be zero. So this is the condition to specify the input. And the third step will consist of the output. So what is the output we will expect here? That is the greatest common divisor of M and N. And the remaining part if you are considering, this is actually the complete mathematical logic. Consider an example, GCD of 24, 12. Now this example we will implement with this logic. So while n value not equal to 0, it has to perform in a loop these three instructions. That is, R is nothing but m mod n. That is, divide m by n and the reminder will be assigned to R. And n value will be assigned to m, r value will be assigned to n. Again, we'll check the condition n not equal to 0. And again, these three instructions will be executed until n value is 0. So when n value is 0, the loop will exit and it will return m as the result. So 
Now we will implement this example with this logic. So here 24 is nothing but m and 12 is nothing but n value. So here first condition is n not equal to 0. So here n value is nothing but 12, 12 not is equal to 0. Condition is true. So it will implement these three instructions. So R value is nothing but m by n and what is the remainder? So here m by n value is m value is 24 and n value is 12. So we will get it as 2. The remainder is nothing but 0. So R value is 0 now. And then n value we have to assign to m. What is n value? That is 12. And n value will be R value. R value is 0 now. So next iteration it will check up. So next iteration n value not equal to 0. So now n value is 0 the condition fails. It will exit the loop and it will come and print m value as the result. What is the m value? m value is nothing but 12 now. So it will print GCD of 24 comma 12 less answer is 12. So this is the pseudo code to implement Eclipse algorithm. So if you are considering the pseudocode and algorithm, there is a major difference. The algorithm will explain the logic in complete sentence form. And if you are considering the pseudocode, it will avoid the unnecessary explanations. It will implement the logic perfectly to solve the problem. So this pseudocode will be understandable by all the programmers. So it is not necessarily to include the step numbers also. This is very simple, clear and unambiguous. And it follows all the algorithmic properties. So the programmers find easy to implement a pseudocode form of algorithm to solve the problem. And if this pseudocode, wherever it is required, we can include the English language also. So in this DA subject, completely we will implement the pseudocode form of algorithm only. So this is the main difference between pseudocode and algorithm. Thank you for watching this video.